Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Schwartz Center, your home of the Cape Fear Sea Devils. Lady Sea Devils hosting the Central Carolina Community College Cougars here tonight. They bring home a perfect record. Cape Fear 6-0 on the season as they continue to dominate as we head into conference play now. Cape Fear, as mentioned, 6-0. They are actually also in the top 25 National Junior College Athletic Association rankings. Currently, they sit in the top 20, right around 15 or 16 last time I checked. And they've done well. Overall, they have three girls averaging double digits. J.C. Bolden leads the team, averaging over 21 a game. Kari Little averaging just over 16. And Jayla Henderson averaging just over 10. As you can hear the home team introduction video going in the background. We'll give you a rundown of Central Carolina. Unfortunately for Central Carolina, off to a tough start this season. Currently 1 and 11 is the Cougars, are the Cougars, excuse me. One and ten are the Cougars. They are coming off two straight losses. A loss at Guilford Tech Community College and a loss at home over Richard Bland. Got beat up pretty good by Richard Bland this past Sunday, December 10th. A 81 to 35 loss at home. They will have their work cut out for them here tonight as they face the seven and zero Cape Fear Sea Devils, who are obviously undefeated and have won two straight here to start the month of De December. One at Wake Tech and one over Johnson Community College. That Johnson Community College game, 75-49. That was here Tuesday. We'll give you a quick rundown of the starters for the women's team. For the Cougars, they'll start with Brooklyn Hall, Michaela Wright, Trinity Hill, Zoe McMickens, and Janie Ragsdale. Starters for Cape Fear, Kelly Holmgren, Jayla Henderson, J.C. Bolden, Kari Little, and Demaya Chisel. Tip one by the Sea Devils. They'll start it off. They swing it around. Kari Little, three, rejected. Big block by Janie Ragsdale to start the game for the Cougars. Good start for them defensively. As you can see, too, Ragsdale, her size, an advantage here for the Cougars to start this game. Though Cape Fear and head coach Taylor Todd Williams go about seven, eight deep. The size yet to come off the bench for Coach Williams as Sierra Sims and Keishiana Murphy. Both right around six foot plus for Cape Fear. As Kari Little, looks like she messed her shoulder up there a little bit on the drive. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Excuse me, that was not in the act of shooting. Foul on the ground. Sea Devils maintain possession. Sea Devils swing it. Chisholm with it in the paint. That's stolen away. Chisholm trying to thread the needle there. She'll end up taking the turnover there. Triple handoff to start things off for the Cougars on offense. They'll be led by guard Michaela Wright. She currently has the basketball in her hands, but I gotta imagine the offense should run through Janie Ragsdale and her size. They get in the post, rejected by Bolden. J.C. Bolden will push the pace. She'll drive, take it the distance, can't get the roll. Little reverse left-handed opportunity, no good for Bolden. She'll miss her first attempt from the field. 0-0 still to start this game. Another opportunity, blocked, but a foul called there. Looked like Kari Little and Jayla Henderson converged. On number 22, Zoe McMickens. 
She's had a couple opportunities in the paint here to start this game, unable to convert that one, but she will go to the line to shoot two. That foul is on J.C. Bolden. That'll be her first of the game. Excuse me, correction there. That foul was on Kari Little. One of two good from the line. Early 1-0 lead for the Cougars. Sea Devils swing it, chisel, deep three, no good. Kelly Holmgren skies to try to get the rebound, tipped out of bounds. Possession will stay with Cape Fear. Cape Fear off to a little bit of a slow start here over the first about minute and 40 seconds here. Still scoreless are the Sea Devils. Chisholm. Pump fake, gets it out to Bolden. Bolden looks to drive, kicks it out to Little. Little, wide open three, no good. Loose ball, grabbed by McMickens. And the Cougars, some good defensive possessions to limit Cape Fear here. Their first few offensive possessions. And Bolden, moving screen, excuse me as Bolden was able to move her feet, stay in front of number 10, Michaela Wright. Moving screen, it's the first foul on Ragsdale. They'll need to keep her out of foul trouble. Her size a big factor in this game for the Cougars. Chisholm, cross court pass, finds Bolden, thought about a three. Gives it up to Little. Little to Holmgren, Holmgren three, no good. Offensive rebound by Demaya Chisholm. Cape Fear gets another opportunity. First offensive rebound of the game. Deep three from Bolden, no good, but a rebound by Holmgren. She'll put it up, no good, loose ball. Cape Fear. Unable to get going here to start things off. Chisholm with it, left-handed attempt, no good. Rebound Cougars, pass up ahead, half court. Demaya Chisholm, this is her first shot attempt. Little, that's a foul on Corey Little. That'll be two quick fouls on Corey Little here over the first three minutes of this game. Cape Fear a little sloppy on the offensive end to start. That'll draw a substitution as Sierra Sims will check in for Kari Little. She checks in for the first time here tonight. First free throw up and good. Cougars up 2-0 to start this game. Not a lot of scoring here over the first three and some change of this first quarter. The Cougars with a lead. Holmgren, good box out, gets the rebound. Sea Devils will try to push the pace a little bit as Bolden slows down once she gets over half court. Gets it up to Holmgren, Holmgren with it. Holmgren looks to drive, kicks it out to Bolden on the right wing. Bolden with it, back to Holmgren. Holmgren back to Bolden. Bolden drives baseline. Pull up jumper, good. First bucket of the game for Cape Fear. Compliments to J.C. Bolden. That'll tie it at two apiece. Here comes the trap just over half court. Michaela Wright makes the right pass. And a travel called turnover to Cape Fear. Good defense there by Cape Fear. Turnover from Trinity Hill. Tried to drive a little too quick there and turns it over. Jayla Henderson gets it, she drives, goes right at the rim, hits the deck. 
fouled on the attempt. Two free throws will come for Jayla Henderson. That'll send Henderson to the line to shoot two. First free throw, no good. Second free throw from Henderson up and good. Jayla Henderson hits one of two and that gives the Sea Devils their first lead of the game. Like almost another travel there, but that pass is stolen away. Sierra Sims ends up with it. Jayla Henderson, lefty layup, no good. Sierra Sims goes up with it. She can't hit it. A couple point blank opportunities, unable to finish, is Cape Fear. Henderson loses the defensive rebound right into the hands of Zoe McMickens, and she's able to finish. That'll give the Cougars a 4-3 lead here early. Kay Pierce swings it, ends up in the hands of J.C. Bolden. Her floater baseline is good. J.C. Bolden a couple buckets for the Sea Devils. They are now up 5-4. Just under five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Turnover there by the Cougars. Trinity Hill tried to find Michaela Wright. That'll be the first media timeout of the game here in the first quarter. We'll take a quick break live from the Schwartz Center. Sea Devils up 5-4. Be right back. More first half, excuse me, first quarter action. When we come. Sierra Sims in the paint. Give the assist to J.C. Bolden. Sims, her first bucket of the game. She was a big factor in that blowout win on Tuesday. Had a double-double. And she's still working herself back into basketball shape. That was just her third game of the season. Another steal by the Sea Devils. Jayla Henderson will get credit for that one. And Bolden can't finish the layup. Sea Devils a little sloppy on the offensive end here to start things off. Find themselves up 7-4. Sierra Sims steps in front of that one, and that'll be her second steal of the game here in the first quarter. Holmgren with it on the right wing, dribbles towards the top of the key, gives it up to Sims. Sims out to Bolden. Bolden to Chisholm. Chisholm will look to drive. Nice pass to a wide open Henderson. Henderson cannot finish. And I think Ragsdale got a piece of that. And she was able to challenge that shot at the rim. Deep three, no good. Rebound J.C. Bolden. Chisholm to Sims. Sims with it. Goes right at her defender. Called for the offensive foul. Tough call there. Keishiana Murphy checks in. She checks in for Jayla Henderson. On the sideline. 
And official Clara Vinson saw that. Looked like the official Mario Price was a little under the hoop there to see that foot on the sideline, but a good catch there and another turnover by the Cougars. Sea Devil ball. Murphy back to Chisholm. Chisholm looks to drive, cut off, kicks it out to Bolden. Thought about a three, and she'll be called for the travel. Sloppy first quarter here over the first six plus minutes for the Sea Devils. We're gonna have to calm down a little bit here. Get into it offensively. Murphy hits it away, stolen by Chisholm. She'll push the pace, tries to find J.C. Bolden, but a turnover. That turnover will be credited to Demaya Chisholm. So it was just out of the reach of Bolden. Unable to control that. Just over two minutes to go here in the first quarter. That pass was almost stolen by Sims, but a drive, an opportunity, no good. Loose ball, out of bounds. Sea Devils basketball. Kelly Holmgren wanted the over the back call there, but no foul called, just Sea Devil basketball. Bolden. Kicks it out, Chisholm drives, floater, too strong, off the rim, gets her own rebound though. Holmgren can't hit the three. Cougars get another rebound, turn it over right back to the Sea Devils. And for the Cougars, the turnovers are killing them right now as they are down three, but Led this game early, but turnovers have kept the Sea Devils with the lead as every time the Cougars get an opportunity to run and get back in it or tie it or take a lead, they turn it back over to the Sea Devils. Sims to Chisholm for three. No good, way off. Loose ball grabbed by a Cougar. It's Brooklyn Hall with it. Loose ball stolen by Kishiana Murphy. Chisholm way off on her last three point attempt. But another turnover by the Cougars gives the Sea Devils another possession here, just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Chisholm with it on the right wing. Cross court pass to Bolden. Bolden. Finds Holmgren, Holmgren to Murphy, Murphy out to Sims. Wide open jumper, no good by Sims. Rebound, thrown away there. Picked up by Kelly Holmgren, she'll get credit for the steal. Bolden drives, can't finish. Rebound by Ragsdale, jump ball called. Possession will go to the Cougars. That's Janiah Pollard checked in at the last dead ball for the Cougars. Gets it back to right. Murphy swats that out of bounds. Good defense by the Sea Devils. And that has never been an issue thus far to start the season and a big part of the 7-0 record for Cape Fear. That defense has been stellar throughout the start of this regular season. Seemed a little too easy there as Ragsdale hits it, cuts the lead to one. Seven, six, Sea Devils up. Chisholm with it. That's a turnover, but Murphy gets it and she'll shoot the three off. Air ball, but Holmgren with a nice save. No shot off. We'll take a quick break here at the end of the first quarter and we'll be right back with second quarter action here live from the Schwartz Center, your home of the Sea Devils.
Cape Fear up 7-6. We'll take a break. End of the first quarter. Sea Devils up 7-6 as we start the second quarter. Sea Devil possession, Holmgren <clears throat> swings it. Bolden finds Sims, and that'll be a travel. She was a little indecisive there once she started to dribble. Another turnover for the Sea excuse me, for Cape Fear. Fourth over the first quarter. 25 seconds. Open opportunity, no good. Loose ball, picked up by Bolden. Sea Devils push the pace. Kari Little, easy, easy layup. Gets it to fall. Kari Little's first bucket of the game. Is that one's thrown out of bounds. Another turnover by the Cougars. Jayla Henderson will check back in for Keishiana Murphy. His head coach Williams. Head coach Taylor Todd Williams showing off some of the depth that the Sea Devils have here. And she's able to go about seven, eight deep consistently really seven deep, and that's a turnover. Anderson loses control of that one. Kayla Wright brings it up for the Cougars, gives it up to Ragsdale. Ragsdale back to Wright. Kicks it out to Brooklyn Hall for three, got it! That'll tie it up at nine. The Cougars not going anywhere. That one in 10 record, a little deceptive right now as they're playing tough on both ends. Bolden with it, swings it back to Holmgren. Holmgren in the paint to Sims. Sims goes up strong with it, can't finish. Loose ball, she wants a foul call. Possession will stay with the Sea Devils. Sims just one of four to start this game. Inbound goes to Henderson. Goes under the legs of Bolden. Brooklyn Hall tries to go up with it. Can't finish. Bolden with the rebound. Chisholm at the scorer's table. She'll check in at the next dead ball. Sims drives. Goes up strong with it. Gets the foul there. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul on Ragsdale, her second of the first half. Number 14, Chisholm back in for Cape Fear. Ragsdale will have to check out. 13th run, De Jesus in for the Cougars. Fran De Jesus will check in for the first time as Sierra Sims goes to the line to shoot two. Just under eight minutes to go here 
Gets the shooter's roll and hits the first free throw. Second free throw, no good, but a big rebound from Henderson, and she's fouled as she goes up with it. Big offensive rebound from Jayla Henderson. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Henderson one from two, one for two at the line here today. Second trip to the free throw line, can't hit the first. Second free throw, Henderson hits it. Two for four from the line is Jayla Henderson. Double team. Almost a steal there. Michaela Wright gets rid of it though and they try to swing it around and DeJesus cannot control that. And another turnover by the Cougars. That defensive pressure from Cape Fear starting to get to the Cougars. But if you're head coach Marcel Webster, you gotta be happy with what he's seeing from his girls thus far. They are not looking like a one in 10 team. As Kari Little is called for the offensive foul, that's her third foul of the game. She'll get charged for the turnover as well. Kari Little called for the foul, that's her third. She may have to come out, stolen. Chisholm gets it up to Bolden, and Henderson able to finish. Bolden will get credit for the assist, her second of the game. Jayla Henderson able to get her first bucket of the game. Demaya Chisholm will get credit for the steal. And another steal by Chisholm, finds Bolden, and Bolden able to finish. Brooklyn Hall with it now, trying to dribble through a double team, gets through, can't finish, rebound Sierra Sims. Pushes it up and Chisholm loses it out of, out of her hands into a Cougar's hands and Central Carolina possession. DeJesus has it stolen by Chisholm. Chisholm up to Bolden who loses it. Some sloppy basketball here from Cape Fear. Bolden will get charged with the turnover there. 15-9, Sea Devils up six. Do not look like that on the offensive end as Chisholm tried to steal it on the reach around. It looked like Hall got by her, but Chisholm quick on the defense, able to poke it off of Hall out of bounds, turnover to the Sea Devils, and another turnover by the Cougars. Bolden, wide open, three, got it. Sea Devils starting to pour it on offensively, give Demaya Chisholm the assist. Might need a timeout from head coach Webster of the Cougars here. Demaya Chisholm, her anticipation on the defensive end to read the passing lanes and get between a couple Cougar players. Her timing on those jumps to deflect the ball is perfect. Substitution for the Cougars. My Asia Prescott will check in for the first time. Sims with the steal finds Henderson. Henderson wide open, and the bucket. Jayla Henderson can never question her work ethic on the court. And she'll go to the line with an opportunity to make it a three-point play. Media timeout. Coach Webster wants a timeout. Thought that might be coming soon. It'll be the media timeout as well at 5.19 to go here in the second quarter. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. More second quarter action here live from the Schwartz Center. Sea Devils up 20 to nine.
Jayla Henderson at the line. Opportunity to finish off her three-point play, and she does. Henderson now three of five from the free throw line. Sea Devils up 21 to nine. And the Cougars have just not figured out how to make crisp fundamental passes here to avoid the Sea Devils pressure defense and their anticipation. Simple pump fake, get that defender in the air and that's stolen away. Jayla Henderson gets the loose ball. Jump stop, good finish by Henderson. Henderson will get credit for the steal, though Bolden is the one that poked it away. Foul on the ground. Who is that on? That foul's on Sierra Sims. That's Sims' first foul of the game. Substitution, Brooklyn Hall will check back in. Henderson battling for the rebound. She is fouled. Another turnover by the Cougars. That's quite a few here in the first half for Central Carolina. Little. And a foul called there. On uh, number two, My Asia Prescott. Little at the line, hits the first free throw. Sea Devils up 15, 24 9. Little second free throw on the way. Gets the friendly shooter's roll. 4 points for Little now. Sea Devils up 16. Just over 420 to go here in the second quarter. And Chisholm once again deflects that out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Cougars. Chisholm a little anxious there. Thought that was a pass inbounds as she was about to chase it down defensively. Her tenacity is something else. She gets another steal. Chisholm up court to Henderson. And an offensive foul on an acrobatic play by Henderson. Unfortunately, that'll be a turnover for Jayla Henderson on the offensive foul. That's Henderson's first foul. And Chisholm able to deflect that. That'll be Cape Fear basketball as she does it again. Demaya Chisholm active on the defensive end has directly caused about 10 turnovers here in the first half herself. Kari Little finds Bolden for three. Got it. Give Little the assist on the made three from J.C. Bolden. Second made three for Bolden. As they are active defensively. Chisholm, no kick ball. She'll get the steal. Finds Bolden and another easy bucket. That is six steals for Demaya Chisholm here already in the first half. Bolden. Able to convert. Three ten to go here in the second quarter. As it looks like it's kind of turned into a sport here for the Sea Devils on the defensive end. Who can get the most steals and deflected passes? as that one's thrown right to a Sea Devil, but Bolden can't control it. Ends up into the hands of Brooklyn Hall, and she's able to finish. Lucky break for the Cougars. That should have resulted in another turnover. But they catch a break and get a bucket. 
Sea Devils up 19, 30 11. Sea Devils swing it. Chisholm with it. Looks to drive. Kicks it out to Bolden. Bolden for three. Short. Rebound, Sierra Sims. She'll go to the line. Third foul on Ragsdale, as that'll send Sims to the line to shoot two. Sierra Sims, one for two from the free throw line. Number 22, McMickens, back in for the Cougars. Zoe McMickens checks back in for Central Carolina. Sims first free throw, too strong, no good. Sims now one for three from the free throw line. Second free throw, way too strong, no good, but gets her own offensive rebound. Put back, no good, but she's fouled once again. That foul on Brooklyn Hall. Second foul on Brooklyn Hall here tonight as Sims will go to the line again. Second offensive rebound for Sims. And another missed free throw by Sierra Sims. She's now one of five from the free throw line. Hits the second. Two of six from the free throw line is Sims. 2.28 to go here in the second quarter. Sea Devils up 20, 31-11 as the Cougars got off to a good start, but Bolden called for the foul there. That'll be Bolden's first foul of the game. And as mentioned, the Cougars were able to keep this close throughout most of the first quarter, even led this game by three early on. But the Sea Devils defense has turned it around and Balloon to lead up to 20 now. Five points, double dribble, turnover by McMickens. And as you may have heard that, the Cougars just five points here in this second quarter. Six in the first, five in the second, equals 11 with two minutes to go here in the second quarter. Bolden, wide open three, in and out, no good. Rebound McMickens. Good defense by Jayla Henderson, cuts off right. She wanted to go right. Henderson said no, almost a travel there by McMickens. She drives, loses the handle. Stolen by Sims, but then turns it over and gets the block. Henderson with the steal. Chisholm loses the handle. Kayla Wright, double team just over half court. Bounce pass, stolen away, Bolden with it. Finds Little, easy bucket for Kari Little. Bolden will get credit for the steal. That's her first steal of the game. She'll get credit for the assist as well, finding the cutting Kari Little for the easy layup. But Kayla Wright with it. Yishiana Murphy called for the foul. That's her first foul of the game. 33-11, a minute seven to go here in the second quarter. First free throw up and good. Sea Devils. Just under halfway to that season average of 69 points a game. 
Just over a minute to go. Second free throw good. Cuts the deficit back down to 20. Kari Little with it to Chisholm. Chisholm on the left corner. Cross court pass to Murphy. Murphy swings it. Bolden for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Weak side by Chisholm. Gets it to Murphy. Murphy's three is no good. Air ball. Good rebound by Chisholm. Maya Chisholm already three offensive rebounds. Not a lot of defensive rebounds for the Sea Devils because the Cougars continuously turn the ball over. What do you know, another one stolen away by Bolden. She'll have a wide open layup attempt and finishes. Bolden. Her fifth made field goal of this first half. Cross court pass. Trinity Hill with it. And another steal as two teammates collide there. Kari Little gets the loose ball. Unable to find Bolden. Bolden unable to chase that down. Sea Devils up 35-13. As we'll take a quick break here, live from the Schwartz Center, your home of the Sea Devils, Cape Fear up 35-13. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back with second half action here, live from the Who do you think gets the most angry when players are late to practice? I think it's the most mad. Lane. <laughs> you gotta me, take me, me. I see him on the court getting angry about calls, and um, I have no doubt that he probably gets angry. <laughs> but high energy too, so I, I definitely could see him getting upset if players are late. Because I heard basketball is a tough sport to play here, and they have a standard to uphold, so I think the coaches are probably pretty pretty hard on them in a good way. <laughs> I feel yeah. like he's just super, just very on it. He's not yeah. he's not about games. None of us are really about games, though, but definitely Lane. Which coach do you think gets the most upset when players are late to practice? <laughs> that's easy for me. That's that's a pet peeve of mine, so that's pretty easy for me. Definitely think she lays down the law when people are late. Hey, this is Cape Fear Women's Soccer. This is Cape Fear Women's Volleyball. And we're here to show some volleyball players how to play soccer. I just want to make sure you're keeping the ball up. I like to flick it up because I can control it better. I kind of just get it on the ball of my foot right here. Did you say I could drop it on my foot? Because that's not going to work for me. <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, your turn, Sarah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so for shooting, basically when you run up to the ball, you want to plant like a foot away from it, right at the middle. Hey. Oh, yeah, correct. Oh, <laughs> you gotta get the curve on it. Thanks, guys. Of the ball with like what part? Yeah, and like the oh. middle. Of your like... Oh. I feel like yeah. Just don't kick the ground. Yeah. Oh, part of your foot right here. Have that like on the ball, and then you want to flick. Okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> here, left foot here. And you have to kick it with my right foot. Lean forward so it doesn't front you. <laughs> Dang that it. That wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to go support women's soccer at their championship match this Saturday. Go Sea Devils!
Cougars basketball to start the second half. Sea Devils up 35 to 13 as they continue their dominating ways here in the beginning of the season. That'll be a backcourt violation to start and another turnover for the Cougars. That is 25 turnovers now for the Cougars, 24 in the first half and not a good start for the second half and head coach Webster, as he is not liking the offensive output from the Cougars here as they continue to turn the ball over. Sea Devils, though, dominating on the offensive end. That'll be a foul on number 22, Zoe McMickens. That's her third foul of the game. Brooklyn Hall, the leading scorer for the Cougars in the first half, only 13 total points. Hall has five of those. Murphy for three, got it! Three is good. Murphy hits her first three of the game. And a foul on number 22, Zoe McMickens. That is her fourth foul. Sea Devils basketball, as that foul happened on the shot attempt. And Mick Mickens, four fouls, one more, she's out of this game. As mentioned, 25 turnovers by the Cougars here. We still got a whole second half to play. Holmgren with it, swings it to Murphy, Murphy that's a turnover. Is Murphy to charge with that turnover. Backcourt pressure coming from the Sea Devils. They're gonna have to get it over and that's a 10 second violation. Another turnover by the Cougars. The Sea Devils on the defensive end, they continue to dominate on that end of the court. And after a slow start on the offensive end, their defense has kept a minute and Helped them jump up 25, 38, 13. Sea Devils lead. Little with it. Swings it out to Murphy. Another three by Murphy, no good. Rebound, Michaela Wright. Murphy just one of three from deep, hit her first one. That's off the leg of Demaya Chisholm. She had an opportunity for her sixth, excuse me, her seventh steal. will remain Cougars basketball. And for Cape Fear, a positive sign from them. As mentioned, didn't get off to the best start offensively, but their defense is what has kept them in it and helped them get out to this lead as they continue. Another steal and another turnover by the Cougars. Loose ball, Chisholm picks it up. Shot no good, rebound Cougars. And a steal by Kari Little. She'll push the pace and finishes. And another turnover by the Cougars. That's already four turnovers here in the first 2 15 of the third quarter. They swing it. Little with it. Gives it up to Chisholm. Chisholm gets it back from Murphy. Cross court pass to Little in the paint. Drives, can't finish, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. Second foul on Trinity Hill. It's one of the best players for the Cougars. Had to go to the bench. Zoe McMickens picked up her fourth foul at the 9-17 mark of the third quarter. Little hits the first free throw. 
She hits the second as well. Perfect from the free throw line is Kari Little, 4-4 here in the game. And another turnover by the Cougars. That has become a regular occurrence here in this game. Turnover after turnover after turnover for the Cougars. 7.20 to go here in the third quarter. And the Cougars are already approaching 30 turnovers and we still got over a quarter and a half to play. Chisholm, pump fake, drive, kicks it out to Little. Little almost travels, but gives it back to Chisholm. Chisholm for three, no good. And a good rebound there by Fran de Jesus. As Chisholm unable to hit the three. Chisholm 0 for 3 from the three-point line. She's 0 for 6. Cougars basketball. Seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. And another steal, almost. Hill gives it up, though, to Wright as Henderson almost steals it away. Gets it back to Hill. Hill with it, loses it. Almost a steal, but Brooklyn Hall gets the loose ball. Finds a wide open Ragsdale for three and gets the bank. Excuse me, a two. That's a two-point shot. Bank still open after 7 p.m. local time. Kari Little with it. Over to Chisholm on the right wing. Finds Little at the top of the key. Deep three, no good. Loose ball, grabbed by Trinity Hill. Hall too deep under the rim. Unable to finish that was Hall. Got a little too far under the hoop. Holmgren with it. Kicks it out. Little for three. Got it! Kelly Holmgren with the assist. That'll be Holmgren's first assist of the game. And that'll be Corey Littles, excuse me, Kari Littles, first made three of the game. That ball is thrown out of bounds. Another turnover by the Cougars. J.C. Bolden will check in for Kari Little. Forty-five, fifteen, thirty-point lead for the Sea Devils. Bolden pull up, no good. Rebound Ragsdale. J.C. Bolden five of nine from the field. Two of six from the three-point line. Well on her way to her twenty-one point average per game on the season. The Jesus shuffled her feet, got a little anxious there. She probably should have shot that on the first opportunity. Substitution for the Cougars. My Asia Prescott checks back in for Central Carolina. Chisholm with it. She'll bring it up over half court. Swings it to Bolden on the left wing. Bolden to Holmgren. Holmgren to Chisholm. Chisholm back to Holmgren. Holmgren for three. No good, but a big rebound from Murphy. Three from Chisholm, way off. No good. A couple missed threes on that offensive possession. And a good drive and finish from Trinity Hill. Chisholm with it. Gives it to Bolden. Thought about a three. Gives it back to Chisholm. Nice pass into the paint to Murphy. Can't finish, but a rebound by Henderson. She can't finish. Murphy gets the rebound. Throws it up. No good. Jump ball. 
possession will stay with the Cougars. Media timeout, 347 to go here in the third quarter. We'll take a quick break here live from the Schwartz Center. We'll be right back with more third quarter action here live from Cape Fear. You're home. Cougars basketball out of that media timeout to he Jesus. Shot, no good. Rebound, Kelly Holmgren. One of the few defensive rebounds we've seen from the Sea Devils. Bold, another end, hits it. That's a deep two. As JC Bolden continues to show her offensive prowess here tonight. And another turnover by the Cougars. Three twenty to go. Sea Devils up. 47-17. Sims turnaround. No good. Rebound Ragsdale. Sims having a tough offensive game here tonight, but the rest of her teammates have picked her up as Cape Fear. She's done an excellent job on the defensive end, forcing 30 turnovers here. And we still got an entire quarter to play. Sierra Sims called for the foul. That's her third foul of the game. 47-17, Cape Fear up. Five seconds on the inbound as uh, breaking the action. As Fran De Jesus showed her vertical right there, able to jump up and fix the net. 2.47 to go here in the third quarter. Chisholm to Bolden, back to Chisholm to Holmgren. Holmgren for three, no good. Rebound, Cougars. 0 for four is Holmgren from deep, and a good move there from My Asia Prescott, able to get the bucket. That cuts the deficit under 30. Chisholm to Bolden on the left corner. Back to Chisholm. Tries to find Henderson, and that's a turnover Bolden them on their toes. by Demaya Chisholm. Too much. Brooklyn Hall rejected, but a foul called. That foul is called on Jayla Henderson. Henderson's second foul. And that'll send Brooklyn Hall to the line to shoot two. Free throw up, no good from Brooklyn Hall. Six. 
second free throw is good from Brooklyn Hall. Cuts the deficit down to 27. Sea Devils swing it. Bolden rejected. Good defensive effort there by Ragsdale. Blocks Bolden. Two on one, fast break. Loose ball. Stolen by Sierra Sims. That's Sims' fourth steal of the game and another turnover by the Cougars. Already nine turnovers here in the third quarter alone. At this rate, they may have 50 by the end of the game. 47-20. Henderson gets it. Bolden in the paint, out to Holmgren. Thought about a three, pump fake, drives. Can't finish. Rebound Ragsdale. Holmgren having a tough game offensively. And Chisholm will steal it away. Another turnover. Henderson, jumper, good. Give the assist to Bolden on the made bucket from Jayla Henderson. And another turnover by the Cougars. And by the looks of their expressions on their faces after these turnovers, they are now used to it themselves. 35 turnovers and we still got an entire quarter to play. Sims gets it in the paint, spin move, goes up with it, fouled, she'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is called on Trinity Hill. Third foul on Trinity Hill, she'll check out. Michaela Wright will check back in for the Cougars. First free throw up and good from Sims. One more free throw coming from Sierra Sims. In and out, no good. Sims, not quite the offensive output she had in the previous game. Ragsdale gets it in the post, goes up with it. She's rejected by Sims. Loose ball out of bounds. Good defense from Sims. She'll get credit for the block. Inbound goes to Michaela Wright. And that's stolen by Kelly Holmgren. Holmgren with it. She'll drive. Unable to finish. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Holmgren. 0 for 3 from the field here tonight, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. This will be her opportunity to get her first buckets of the game. First free throw, no good. Second free throw attempt from Holmgren, no good. Misses them both. Kayla Wright almost loses that. No, she did not get it off in time. Basket no good. Good opportunity and attempt by Michaela Wright. Sea Devils up 50 to 20. We'll take a quick break here as we approach the fourth quarter. Sea Devils up 50-20. We'll be right back with fourth quarter action here live from Cape Fear.
Sea Devils up 30, 50 to 20. As you could see, head coach Marcel Webster of the Cougars at that break. As that's a foul. Sims will go to the line. She'll shoot two. One of seven from the field, though, is Sierra Sims. Fran de Jesus. Second foul on de Jesus. Sierra Sims misses the first free throw. And that comment before has tried to finish. Head coach Marcel Webster as Sims hits the second free throw. Head coach of the Cougars, Coach Webster, trying to keep his girls fighting in this game. It's not too loud or demeaning at that break. He's just trying to have them keep fighting and create opportunities here to get better for his team as they're in a zone now. A little bit of a 3-2 zone. Bolden with it. Looks like it's kind of morphing into a 3-2, 2-3, and Sims with the bucket, plus the foul. Sims hits the basket. She'll go to the line, try to make it a three-point play. Give Kelly Holmgren the assist. De Jesus, her third foul. Still without one of the better players as that free throw is missed. Offensive rebound by Kelly Holmgren. She can't finish. Kari Little will get the offensive rebound, though. Loose ball, stolen away. Holmgren. Kelly Holmgren, 0 for 4 from the field. And other than J.C. Bolden and Jayla Henderson, Kari Little also shooting the ball well. Offensively, the Sea Devils, not what they typically do. Bolden, three, no good. Rebound, Ragsdale. But fortunately for Cape Fear, they've had plenty of opportunities as Kari Little should have got a steal there, but unable to gather it. Ends up in the hands of DeJesus. Hall trying to get position on Chisholm in the paint. Ends up with the possession here and gets the bucket. Plus the foul. Brooklyn Hall will go to the line, try to make it a three-point play. Calls against number zero of Cape Fear, Hall. Casey Little. Fourth foul on Kari Little. Free throw up, no good. Rebound, Sierra Sims. Kari Little now with four fouls for Cape Fear. Chisholm will bring it up over half court. Directs her offense, gives it up to Sims on the left wing. Sims to Little in the left corner. Dribbles back towards the right, excuse me, left wing, gives it up to Bolden. Sea Devils swing it, ends up in the hands of Chisholm. Back to Bolden, Bolden drives out to Little for three. No good, rebound Cougars. Drive, attempt, no good, loose ball, picked up by Chisel. Holmgren with it, brings it up, out to Bolden in the right corner. Thought about a three, gives it up to Demaya Chisel. Chisel. Drive and finish. That was Kari Little with the bucket. And another turnover, steal by Little, finish by Bolden. Little and Bolden with some action there. J.C. Bolden now seven of 11 from the field. Couple more turnovers by the Cougars. And they are well on their way to a 40 plus turnover outing here tonight. Keishiana Murphy will check in for Kari Little. 
Trinity Hill, Zoe McMickens, and Janiah Pollard check in for the Cougars. Inbound goes to Hill. Hill looked to push the pace, tries to drive. Out of bounds and another turnover by the Cougars. 6.56 to go. Sea Devils up 57-22. Looks like the basketball went deep under the bleachers. And we'll take a break in the action here as we retrieve another basketball. That ball went way under the bleachers. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Just under seven minutes to go. 57-22, Sea Devils up. And I don't know where we'd be if it wasn't for athletic director Ryan Mantlo. Demaya Chisholm will bring it up, gives it up to Sims. Sims to Murphy. Chisholm, top of the key, gives it up to Bolden. Holmgren for three. No good as Kelly Holmgren cold from the field here tonight. 0 for 5 from the field. Chisholm almost got another steal. Drive by Pollard, throws it up. Wild opportunity, wild layup attempt there. No good. Like Holmgren got a piece of that. She'll get credit for the partial block there. It's her first block of the game. Inbound goes to Pollard. Drive from McMickens. Can't finish. And that'll be a foul on Kelly Holmgren. That's Holmgren's first foul of the game. She's been a presence defensively for Cape Fear, just having an off game offensively. First free throw up and good from McMickens. Second free throw from McMickens is good. 57-34, 33 point lead for Cape Fear. Demaya Chisholm will bring it up. Sims drives, blocked. Loose ball, ends up in the hands of Murphy, gets it back to Sims. No foul on either attempt there. As both her attempts were blocked at the rim, but she'll steal it away here. Starts the fast break and finds Chisholm, who can't finish, but gets the offensive rebound. No good. Couple missed opportunities there. Point blank at the rim. Chisholm unable to finish. And Demaya Chisholm cold from the offensive side as well. And a good post play there and move by Janie Ragsdale. Janie Ragsdale been one of the few bright spots for the Cougars offensively. Her post play has been consistent when she's been able to get it in the paint in a good position. Chisholm finds Holmgren. Pump fake, but a double dribble like she did put two hands on it. Turnover Kelly Holmgren. That's her first turnover of the game. Sea Devils getting up there with turnovers now as well. 15 turnovers for Cape Fear. Chisholm gets it back to Bolden. Bolden tips it out. Can't finish. Prior to that though, another turnover by the Cougars. Cougars almost at 40 turnovers here with 4.37 to go here in the fourth quarter. Sea Devils up 
They'll swing it around. They'll try to eat as much clock as they can now, each offensive possession. Bolden thought about the three. Looks to drive. Gives it up to Holmgren. Holmgren to Murphy. Murphy for three. No good. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Sea Devils. That'll be the last media timeout of this game. 4.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. We'll take a quick break here, live from the Schwartz Center. Sea Devils up 57-28. We'll be right back with the remaining 4.15 of the fourth quarter. Bucket good from Sierra Sims. Loose ball. Position will stay with the Cougars. Inbound goes to Trinity Hill. Hill with it. Hits it to Hall. Hall has it blocked away. Looked like by Murphy. Murphy gets the defensive rebound, but loses it. Chisholm will get credit for it as Murphy was unable to get full possession of it. Murphy will get credit for the block, though. Sea Devils swing it. Holmgren for three, way off. Loose ball. Jump ball. Holmgren. Cold all around, 0 for 10 overall from the field and the three-point line, 0 for 5 from the three, 0 for 5 from the field. Offensively, Kelly Holmgren having a tough game on the offensive end, but that is okay for Cape Fear. They are up 31. Little 1-3-1 one, one zone here from Cape Fear. Chisholm. Definitely mismatch there, but unable to finish is Ragsdale. Chisholm with the rebound. She'll push the pace. One woman show. Can't finish. Offensive rebound by Sims. Foul on Trinity Hill. Both Trinity Hill and Zoe McMickens, four fouls apiece. McMickens currently on the bench. Just over three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Sims misses both free throws. Sims struggling from the free throw line, just four of 13 from the line and some miscues on the offensive end from Cape Fear have not come back to bite them. Fortunately for them, their defense has been big. Sims will get credit for that steal. Up to Bolden. Bolden plus the foul. JC Bolden hits the bucket plus the foul. And Bolden will go to the line for the first time here tonight. J.C. Bolden, 8 of 12 from the field here tonight. 22 points for Bolden, make it 23 as she hits the free throw. 
And Bolden will get called for the foul. Tried to reach in there. Second foul on J.C. Bolden. Loose ball. Sims, another steal. Her seventh steal of the game. Bolden way off on that attempt. Holmgren with the rebound, but she traveled. I think Holmgren's a little in her head here tonight offensively, though her effort and tenacity on the defensive end has been a big part of Cape Fear. Murphy with the steal. Gives it up. Sims from Bolden. Sims will get credit for the assist. Her first assist of the game is, excuse me, JC Bolden will get a credit for the assist, her fifth of the game as Sims hits the bucket. Kelly Holmgren picks up her second foul of the game. Jayla Henderson checks back in for Kari Little. Excuse me, for J.C. Bolden. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebound, Sierra Sims. Gives it up to Chisholm. 153 to go. Sea Devils will try to eat as much clock as they can here with their remaining offensive possessions. Up 26. Holmgren thought about a three. Gives it up to Chisholm. Chisholm will pull up. Jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, Sierra Sims. Goes up with it, can't finish. But she'll go to the line to shoot two. Demaya Chisholm, 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 4 from the three-point line. But her defense has definitely made up for the rough offensive night from Demaya Chisholm. First free throw is good from Sierra Sims. Second free throw from Sims. No good, lane violation. Michaela Wright will bring it up for the Cougars. Loose ball, grabbed by Pollard, and she has it stolen by Chisholm. Fast break, Chisholm can't finish. Offensive rebound put back by Sierra Sims. Sims will get the offensive rebound and another two. Jayla Henderson trying to tip that out to a teammate. No teammate there, just Ragsdale. She can't hit the three, Chisholm with the rebound. Demaya Chisholm will push the pace. Tries to find Jayla Henderson, a little too far under the rim. Henderson with the steal. Assist to Demaya, finished by Sims. Twenty seconds to go. Cougars ball kicked out of bounds. Sixteen point six to go. Sea Devils up. 41. Cape Fear right at their average of just over 69 points a game. They'll hit it. Three, no good. Rebound Kelly Holmgren. And that'll do it. Demaya Chisholm will get it over half court. And that'll be the final possession for Cape Fear. 69-28. And that'll do it. We'll take a quick break. 
We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us for tonight's matchup. Please travel safely to your next With some post-game stats and your post-game recap, with your voice of the Sea Devils, Elijah Mize, we'll be right back. Post-game recap and a player of the game when we come back here live from the Schwartz Center.
Hello and welcome back to a little post-game recap here with your voice of the Sea Devils, Elijah Mize. Cape Fear wins another throttling of a visiting opponent here at home. Takes their record to 8-0. and oh. They have now obviously won eight straight to start the season. And that's what you saw today, a good reason why Cape Fear finds themselves ranked in the top 25 of the National Junior College rankings. Some, some highs today, actually. Jayla, excuse me, J.C. Bolden, right around her average, just over her average of 21 and a half a game, got to 23 here tonight. 23 points, three rebounds, five assists, and two steals. Jayla Henderson, another overall quality game from her, 11 points, five steals, and three rebounds. On the other end, for Central Carolina, unfortunately, just not enough from really anyone. Team High, Brooklyn Hall, and Janie Ragsdale, Janie, excuse me, Ragsdale, eight points apiece between her and Brooklyn Hall. That was more than half the points the team scored. Just 28 total for the Cougars, 69-28 the final here from Cape Fear. And overall, another quality game from Sierra Sims. Had a tough time offensively to start, but she finished with 17 points, eight rebounds, excuse me, nine rebounds, and seven steals. So another player of the game awarded to Sierra Sims, compliments of myself, don't really vote on that. Maybe we can get that situated going forward where those watching can cast a vote on who they would like to see win player of the game but another quality game from Sierra Sims. And I know head coach Taylor Todd Williams has to be happy to see her healthy and on the court now for the regular season. This is just the fourth game for Sims and another quality outing from her. As mentioned, 17 points, nine rebounds, and seven steals. The story of this game, though, was the turnovers by the Cougars. Just under 50 turnovers, excuse me. Yes, just under. Just under 40, excuse me, actually. Right over 40. 41 turnovers by the Cougars, and that was just too much to overcome. Over the first five minutes of this game, looked like it might be close, or at least closer than the score indicates, as the Cougars jumped out to an early lead, up by as much as three over the first three minutes of the first quarter, but the turnovers just too much to overcome for the Cougars as they fall now to one and 12, excuse me, one and 11 on the season. On the offensive side for Cape Fear though, some things to work on. The turnovers started to become a problem for Cape Fear in the second half as Sixteen turnovers on the game for Cape Fear. Definitely something they will have to work on going forward. But Sea Devils, they now move to 8-0. and oh. We will be back here on Saturday afternoon for a Saturday tip as the Sea Devils will host Southwest Virginia. That will be a 2 p.m. afternoon tip-off. If you're in the area, go ahead and come on out. Support the Cape Fear Sea Devils Ladies team as they find themselves ranked in the top 25 of the NJCAA rankings and that's well deserved as they continue this hot streak undefeated to start the season. We'll catch you again on Saturday. That'll do it live from the Schwartz Center. Don't forget any stats, schedule, or player information you can visit GoSeaDevils.com and catch everything you need there. You can also follow the Sea Devils on all social media platforms at Go Sea Devils on Twitter and Instagram. You can also follow them on Facebook. Just search Cape Fear Sea Devils Athletics. You can follow along there as well. Don't forget to give me a follow on Twitter at Sports Guy Eli. I'm your voice of the Cape Fear Sea Devils, Elijah Mai, signing off, and we'll see you again on Saturday. Have a good night.